Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm really excited to show you guys how my life is as a medical student in ANU. I like to wake up at 5am in the morning to do some Anki cards before I go to the hospital. I already finished a deck of Anki cards. I still have 100 plus of cards to go. But right now I'm feeling hungry so I'm going to head to the kitchen and get some stuff to eat. I'm just going to have a protein bar, a cup of hot milk tea and a green tea just to keep myself warm because it's starting to get cold outside. Uh, I still have like quite a lot to go. I aim to finish it by 7 or if I couldn't finish it, I'll finish it tonight. I think I probably will do it tonight. I probably should start exercising right now. If not, I'll probably be late for um, hospital. I really like to exercise in the morning before going to the hospital because it makes me feel like I've already accomplished something. And this makes me feel motivated throughout the day. Because for medicine rotation, um, there's a lot of physical examination and stuff like that so I just put all of my equipments like my stethoscope, my measuring tape and like the pen torch, everything in a bag like this and during the walk around I will carry this bag around instead of this whole big bag. And then now I'm ready to go to the hospital. I'm taking the stairs instead of the lift because too many people are waiting for the lift. I didn't really get to take videos on the ward because everyone is too busy for ward rounds. After attending the ward round, I headed to the cafeteria to have my lunch before going to the library to study. So my plan right now is to do my long case. I have a long case to do because I have to present it to my supervisor on Thursday and then I'll do like the rest of the studies. So right now I have to rush my long case first. It's weird because everyone removed their coat and their tougher jacket in the library and I'm wearing it in the library because I feel so cold. I'm really not used to the weather here. I've been reviewing this patient's file for like 2 hours and I still didn't know what happened to him. My mind is not working right now. With all this information, I still couldn't like get hold of what is happening to him. I just know that he, he have this diagnosis and he have this issue. I don't really understand all the pathophysiology behind of this. That's why I'm reviewing up to date at the other side and here is my case so when I read my case I will just review if I have any problem or any questions that I couldn't answer myself. If you really get hold of what happened to the patient and understand everything behind um, what's happening then you can learn a lot of stuff so that's why they always recommend us to do like a very complicated long case. And I'm just watching some video about asthma right now because asthma is so common in the ward and it's also a high yield topic. Guys, what's the answer for this? Serratus anterior, right? So pectoralis major is this piece of muscle up here and deltoid is... This is not deltoid. Deltoid is this one, the lateral part of the upper arm, this part and serratus anterior is where the highlighted part is and serratus posterior we can do it from here serratus posterior as its name suggests will be visible from behind what is the blood supply to kidney <laughs> this is exactly me doing the walk around is I'm finishing MBBS or MBBS is finishing me. I'm still confused. At this moment, I feel that MBBS is finishing me <laughs> because someone had booked the room at 2.30, so I have to leave at 2.30. 
and probably hopefully I can get another room guys I really don't know what to do right now I'm not going to do my long case anymore I know that I have a lot of stuff to do like I miss a lot of lectures as you can see here I've already missed a lot of lectures and I don't even feel like watching it right now right now I'm just listening to music and probably later I will like watch one lecture before I go back oh no actually I decided to study about pulmonary embolism because I've been because I've been seeing a lot of pulmonary embolism case in the ward and probably I will be studying this instead of watching the lectures sorry lectures I'm not going to watch you it's already five o'clock and I'm done with um, pulmonary embolism so this is all the notes I made I'm going back right now because it's getting dark I've just came back from library and I just changed and I'm using my phone to film right now because my camera ran out of battery just now Before going back to try to complete the rest of my Anki cards for today I am preparing my dinner and also um, my lunch box for tomorrow Every time I'm studying a new card I will write the answer like let's say what is what is being shown at one so my answer one is anterior limb so I will just write it down on a piece of paper it's all finished I am not going to study anymore I'm so tired so it's me time so the book I'm currently reading is Atomic Habits this is one of my favorite books I already fell in love with this book the moment I um, read the first chapter so if you guys are finding books to read this is my recommendation so tomorrow is Wednesday usually for Wednesday I don't go to the hospital because it's a teaching day for us so we have to attend lectures Oh, rest time, no more study for tonight. Thank you for watching and I really hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.